Welcome to the video help series for the Energy Rating Product Registration System. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a bulk application for registration. We begin on the Registration Type page. We select the Bulk Application Upload link from the right-hand corner of the page. The Registration Type page has now changed slightly for the bulk application process. Under What type of products do you want to register, we select the product that we are registering from the drop-down menu provided. We then select the country we are registering this product in and the determination or standard we're registering the product against. Depending on the product type we've chosen, there may be additional questions we need to answer. These next two questions are examples of these additional questions. For the question, single or a family of models, we select an option from the drop-down menu to indicate if we are registering a single model or a family of models. Under what will these applications be for, we select an option to indicate what energy rating label we're registering the product for. A standard label, which has up to six stars, or a super efficient label, which has up to 10 stars. We then select Save and Continue to save our changes and move on to the next page of the application form. The Regulatory Authority page lists the terms and conditions that we must accept in order to submit an application for registration. It is important that we are aware of these terms and conditions before we submit an application. The terms and conditions vary between countries, so we need to make sure we select the right country on the registration type page. After we have read the terms and conditions, we select the box next to I acknowledge the above terms and conditions to confirm we have read the terms and conditions. We then select Save and Continue to save our changes and move on to the next page of the application form. The Applicant and Contacts page asks for information on the applicant submitting the application and contact information for people who can respond to any questions about the application. The first question asks the name of the nominated applicant, which is automatically filled in for us, so we don't need to do anything here. For the next question, Person Submitting the Application, we select an option to indicate if we are the applicant submitting the application or an agent submitting it on behalf of the applicant. If we indicate that we are an agent submitting on the applicant's behalf, we then need to upload a letter of authority from the manufacturer or importer to verify that we have the authorization to represent the applicant. To upload the letter, we select the Choose File button, locate the letter on our computer and select Open to attach it to the application. For the next question, we select an option to indicate what the applicant's relationship to the product is. If we select Other, we need to specify what the applicant's relationship is in the text box provided. In the next section, Primary Contacts, we need to nominate people who will act as primary contact points for administrative, technical and accounts related matters. A copy of the Department's Privacy Notice is provided for us to understand how the personal details collected here will be used. For the first question under Primary Contacts, we select an option from the drop-down menu below to nominate the primary administrative contact for this application. This person will take the responsibility for the application and its registration and will receive notifications of any changes to the registration. 
If there is only one option available in the drop-down menu, the menu will automatically default to that option. For the second question, we select an option from the drop-down menu to nominate the primary technical contact. This person will prepare the applications and answer technical questions regarding the registration. If there is only one option available in the drop-down menu, the menu will automatically default to that option. For the third question, we select an option from the drop-down menu to nominate the primary accounts payable contact. This person will be responsible for the receipt and payment of invoices and will receive notifications regarding payment. If there is only one option in the drop-down menu, the menu will automatically default to that option. We then select the Save button to save our form and check for any errors. If there are errors, a red message will appear at the top of the page. The questions with the errors will be highlighted in red and we'll need to fix these before we can continue. If no errors are detected, a green message will appear at the top of the screen confirming that the bulk application upload has been saved. We then select Save and Continue to move on to the next page of the bulk application form. The Manufacture and Sale page asks for the manufacturing details and information on when and where the product will be sold. For the first question, we select the name of the product's manufacturer from the drop-down menu provided. If there is a second manufacturer, we select the name of the second manufacturer from the drop-down menu provided. For the next question, we select the country or countries this product was manufactured in from the drop-down menu. If the product was manufactured in more than one country, we select the Add Another link to add another drop-down menu and then select the next country. We then need to select an option to indicate how the date of manufacture can be determined from the permanent markings included on the appliance. This information will assist our compliance team when undertaking check testing of appliances. If we select one of the first three options, we need to provide additional information in the text box below. For this next question, we select the country or countries this product will be sold in by ticking a box next to each country. For the final question on the page, we select a date to indicate when this product was or will be made available for purchase using the calendar that automatically appears when we click into the text box. We then select the Save button to save our form and check for any errors. If there are errors, a red message will appear at the top of the page. The questions with errors will be highlighted in red and we'll need to fix these before we can continue. If no errors are detected, a green message will appear at the top of the screen confirming that the bulk application upload has been saved. We then select Save and Continue to move on to the next page of the bulk application form. The public website page allows us to specify if we would like our product displayed on the public registration database as available and the period of time it will be displayed. The first field is date first available for purchase. This will be automatically populated by our response to a previous question on the manufacture and sales page so we don't need to do anything here. In the next field, we select the end date of the period that our product will be available if our product is going to be available for a limited time. The product will then only appear on the public registration database as available for the period of time specified. If we do not select a date, the product will be listed on the public registration database as available until the product's registration expires. We then select the Save button to save our form and check for any errors. If there are errors, a red message will appear at the top of the page. 
The questions with errors will be highlighted in red and we'll need to fix these before we can continue. If no errors are detected, a green message will appear at the top of the screen confirming that the bulk application upload has been saved. We then select Save and Continue to move on to the next page of the bulk application form. On the Declaration and Notes page, there is a legal declaration on this page we must read and agree to in order for us to submit our applications. After we've read the declaration, we tick the box next to I have read and accept the above legal declaration to confirm that we have read and accept the declaration. In the next field, under Registration Notes, we enter any relevant information for the regulator. We then select the Save button to save our form and check for any errors. If there are errors, a red message will appear at the top of the page. The questions with errors will be highlighted in red and we'll need to fix these before we can continue. If no errors are detected, a green message will appear at the top of the screen confirming that the bulk application upload has been saved. We then select Save and Continue to move on to the next page of the bulk application form. On the Data Upload page, we generate a spreadsheet template to enter our application data into. We then upload the spreadsheet to the registration system. Under the first section, Generate an Excel template, we enter the number of applications we would like to upload. We can only upload a maximum of 100 applications per bulk registration. We can then select one of our registrations from the drop-down menu provided to pre-fill the template with relevant data. Once we've done that, we select the Generate Template button. The spreadsheet file is our template that has been generated by the system. Depending on the product type, there may be multiple tabs to be completed in the spreadsheet file. Each line in the tab represents a single registration and we need to provide the information requested in each column for each application. Once we've completed filling in our template, we return to the data upload page of our bulk application. Under the second section, Upload Data, we upload our spreadsheet file. To upload our spreadsheet file, we select the Choose File button, locate the spreadsheet file on our computer and select Open to attach it to the application. We then select Save or Save and Continue to save our file and move on to the final page of the bulk upload. Our spreadsheet file has been successfully uploaded and our applications are ready to be created. To create our applications, we select the Submit for Processing button. The page refreshes and we see that our applications are pending processing, but should commence processing within five minutes. There are two new buttons provided. We select Cancel Processing if we want to cancel the processing of our applications or refresh page to reload the page to check if the application processing has commenced. It's important we don't close or leave this page while the processing is in progress as this will interrupt application processing. Once processing has finished, the page reloads with a message at the top of the screen confirming that our registrations have been created successfully. We now go through each record individually to check for any additional warnings, messages and errors or to add labels, test reports or other documents that may be required. To delete our draft registrations, we select the Delete Draft Registrations button at the bottom of the page. And that's how you create a bulk application for registration.
For further assistance with using the registration system, select the Help tab at the top of any page to go to our Handy Help section, where you can find more videos and step-by-step -step guides to help you navigate any aspect of the system. If you cannot find an answer to your question, why not send us an email? Simply select the Contact Us tab at the top of any page and fill in the form. The more details you provide, the more we'll be able to help you, so please include all relevant details in your email, including any attachments that might be useful.